you know the funny thing about this whole situation from the time of when Tyson had me under his wing to the point to where I cashed in and won the AW championship to the point to where I had to literally put down destroy my teacher because he was getting weak and I could see the light that was inside of this man but for some more reason he pulled me into the darkness but didn't want to accept the fact that I was always better and he he just didn't understand so I had to put down Tyson and now he is here we don't know who he is the old the old me would wouldn't understand this he is different he is the one who controls me now the one who can set a light anew because at the end of the day we all have our fate we're all going to die we are all going to see that light at the end of the tunnel or we're going to see darkness to damnation and at the end of it all we don't know our fate you go one path you go the opposite path that's it that's all we know and he knows what to do you know he was the one who told me don't listen to tyson don't let this light infesterate you because at the end of the day you know your worth and you know what's gonna happen and he told me to just get rid of this bag and to let everyone know who I really am. And at the end of it all, who knows? We all might just get to see a little different side of who he really is. Here we are, AEW season six, Chris Fury. Ready to count down to count down to Ah. Hey, wait, who the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, what is this? Fucking alien? Man? <laughs> huh? Galaxy champion all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Nice shit. Yeah. Take it on yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. That's good, huh? That's good? That's good? That good? That good? Man, they get you where you want to go that fast? Oh shit, I think I could use some of that my damn self. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is this shit? This is just water, man. This ain't no space shit. What is this? It's just fucking water. Here, you can have this. You can fucking have this. You can fucking have it. There. Here. It ain't nothing anyway. Oh, what are you gonna do now, huh? What are you gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is a non-title matchup. Introducing first, Chris Fusion. Yo! Oh! And his opponent. He is the current Galaxy Champion, Alien. Chris, are you ready? Ready. Alien, are you ready? Hold on a sec, Alien's not ready. Okay. All right, you hold on to it. Just remember, you can't use it. It's a weapon, technically. All right, are you ready, Amy? Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, welcome to no. AEW. We have what are you doing with this? an okay, improv this? match between Chris Fusion and Alien. Yes, this is the John Hannibal on commentary, and uh, I had issues with <laughs> both of these characters in the past. And, I can't. and to be honest, I don't even know how to call this matchup. I really don't. Remember this that's his game. <laughs> what is Alien doing? A bridge. One, Looks like. Two. Yeah, we got a two count. Another One, ca no, third two. fault. Another two count. Two. Yeah, Alien, Master of the Mind Games, I would say. In that. Water. It's just water. Saying it's just water. It's just water. It's just water. <laughs> and again, the master of the mind games. Alien. <laughs> Tried a little drop kick there, but it didn't work out for Alien. I'll do a little ground and pound from a uh, Chris Fusion. Oh. A little slap there, chop. Try to pick him up. A little sit down power bomb. One, two. A two count. What is Alien doing? Remember, your galaxy champion. Now he's now Alien is out of the ring. Alien, there's no weapon. He's grabbing a chair. I'm don't know what he has in store for us, but but then again, I never know what Alien is thinking any other time, so two chairs set up what the hell are you doing? and it's out, it's, it's definitely not a no holds barred match, but it wants uh, fusion out of the ring and guys get back in the ring. One, two. Oh, the referee starts his ten count. Three, four, five. He's up to six. He is up to six now. Seven. They better hurry. They both. Back in. Now they're both back in the ring. After I have no idea what all that was, but <sighs> going to oh, One, going to cover. One, two. 
starting to Oh, power bomb from Chris Fusion. Nice maneuver. We got the two. Two count. That's what I... I think he is saying... Yeah... I have no words of what's going on here. I am pretty sure the referee's clueless as well. One, two. We got a two count. I guess we call this a shitty matchup. Yeah, you can uh you can pretty much count that right. A shitty matchup. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of maneuver that was, like but that's what it kind of looked like. I got the cover. Two, three. Here we got the three count. Alien. Alien is the winner of this matchup. Can you say it's a sore winner? I don't know. championship as well that match didn't go my way but I still didn't lose it see me and Dawn were both down for the 10 count we literally took each other to our limits but it left kind of a sour taste in my mouth because I feel like the opportunity that we're not given much in AEW to be a dual champion slipped right through my fingers and I know Dawn feels the same so I talked to Cameron Stone, and he agrees. This is the biggest match in AEW history, and it's ending like that. So he granted me a chance with this tournament to compete and to win number one contender's spot. Now, now if I make it there, I'll put this back on the line. It'll be title for title again. But Stone told me it wasn't going to be easy. Because I'm not facing someone I've faced before. I'm facing a new talent. Someone under the name Antonio Bernard. I think you guys see him at Ceremony of the Greats. I don't know who he is too much except for that six-man tag team fiasco that I had. But he's never faced me one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't know what I'm willing to do when I want something. Antonio... You're not just facing anybody. You're facing the AEW champion. You're facing the longest tenured star in this company. And you're facing someone who knows how to handle fresh meat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Astro. Astro. Yo, what up, Chris Owen? Chris Owen? Chris Owen?
Go Mode. Let's work. Switching lanes like how these rappers switching poles. Push up on the pedal, hurt the metal, touch the floor. Driving to a way, I keep a tin up on the door. Maneuver through the traffic like I can fear. Say that you're straight, you're streaming. That's the traffic, you can't be better, time to joke. Engine kicking up, I can't even let my message go. Driving to a way, I keep a tin up on the door. Maneuver through the traffic like I can fear. Say that you're straight, you're streaming. That's the traffic, you can't be better, time to joke. Engine kicking up, I can't even let my message go. Cruising in control, the paint is colored, that's the note. Tilting through the gap, you would think that I'm flexing gold. The niggas are flexing gold, okay, I feel I'm next to blow. I remember sleeping in the car, looking at the stars. Life for me was slow mentally down below. Every tear I shed was God giving me a round of hope. Destined for blessings upward, I'm bound to go. Bottom of the trenches, work my way up with the wretches. Heading it on four dimensions, I'm the hole with hope, I found no rope. Now I see the checker flag come into my possession. Winning circles, my selection. Aiming for it with the round of scope. Burning out that rubber. Another first round match, the AEW Revolution title. We have Tony Bernard, and here we have AEW Heavyweight Champion Tyler Quinn. Gentlemen, are you ready? All right, let's get it off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AEW. This is our first show to kick off season six. Let's see what you got. And I'm glad to be a part of it. And again, this is the Revolution title tournament, first round. Tyler Quinn taking on newcomer Antonio Bernard. We saw him at Ceremony of the Greats, but now debuting here officially in season six and one-on-one -on -one action. And what a way to debut. You're in there with the AEW world champion, Tyler Quinn. And now both men just feeling each other out here. You know, earlier tonight I had my match with John Hannibal. I happened to advance. I would be more than happy to have either one of these guys to face next week. But now, Antonio got that headlock on Tyler Quinn. But what Antonio's going to find out here is Tyler Quinn. He's a hard man to keep down. You know, even though he doesn't have the size, he doesn't have the stature. Nice. Nice carry over into an arm drag. But it looks like Antonio definitely has the power display here. And now into a cover, but he picks him up and into a power bomb, taking Tyler Quinn right off his feet again. As we've said, Tyler Quinn is like a demolition derby car. You can throw anything you got at him. He keeps coming back. And that is the reason why he is the AEW World Champion. And what a maneuver by Antonio Bernard. And there's the cover. But only a one count. It's still early on in the match. But what a way to start off not only your debut, but if... Antonio Bernard wins this. He moves into the next round of the Revolution title tournament. Could you imagine if he makes it all the way to the end and ends up becoming AEW Revolution champion? And that that would be a historic run. But now Antonio, little, little dazed, had to roll outside. And now Tyler Quinn, here we go. High flying, death defying action. 
Tyler Quinn right into Antonio Bernard on the outside of the ring. And remember, folks, it's just a regular one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's not the typical... You're doing good, kid. No rules type of matchup that we're all accustomed to seeing here in AEW. And now, Antonio... What a right hand. And now forearms right to the face. And just digging in deep with those forearms. I'm surprised the referee has not started his 10 count in this matchup. They are outside the ring. What? But then again, welcome back to our referee, Chris Fusion. But it would not be the same if we did not have our referee, Mr. Chris Fusion, with us. One, two, three. and a two count. Only a two count. They call me Depakote. Well spoken, well spoken. And now, what's Antonio Bernard going to do here? It looks like. They call you Billy Madison. <laughs> ah! And now, what? looks like a modified what? version of the sharpshooter. And he's, and he's got him. Oh, wait a minute. He, he is really wrenching back on Tyler Quinn like here. One. But Tyler Quinn, he's been in this type of situation before he reaches the ropes. So Antonio Bernard's got to break the hold. And now, those right forearms. Antonio Bernard has a mean right forearm. And now he's gearing up. What's he going to do here? The Tyler Quinn. Oh, caught him in mid-run with a super kick. And now Tyler Quinn off the shed with a coffin drop. Or trust fall. But it really don't matter. Either way, hit connected. Antonio Bernard kicks out. If Antonio Bernard's not careful, Tyler Quinn will get on a roll here. Uh, and now, Tyler uh, Quinn uh, with the right hands right into the face of Antonio Bernard. We don't know much about Antonio Bernard. Like I said, he made his debut at Ceremony of the Greats. Uh, nice flying forearm by Tyler uh, Quinn. And now both men down. But we saw Antonio make his debut at Ceremony of the Greats in one-on-one -on -one competition and in six-man oh. tag action. And another cover by Tyler Quinn, he kicked out. And so far, it looked like Antonio did well. And now, this is the official Season 6 debut of Antonio Bernard. And like I said, what a way to kick it off in being in the first round of the Revolution title tournament. And Tyler Quinn's going to put him to the test here. Because I remember my debut almost two or three years ago. And it was against Tyler Quinn. And we went on to form the master plan. Oh! Went for a Hurricane Rana. But Antonio, with that power, just reversed him into a power bomb. And now, nice soup. Oh, brain buster. He got him with a brain buster. And Tyler Quinn, the impact, drove him to the outside. And now Antonio. And now, oh, flying clothesline to the outside. Antonio Bernard is coming at full speed here. All right, guys, we start the 10. Oh, no. He's got him up. What's he going to do? Oh, powerbomb back into the ring. Antonio definitely has a lot of strength on his side in this matchup. I don't know if Tyler Quinn was aware or not. But now Antonio with those forearms. Oh, Tyler Quinn. Went right for the legs. Smart strategy. Uh, and now, uh, got a half Boston crab, or a single uh, leg crab. No! Uh, single leg crab uh, on Antonio Bernard. Uh, and now Tyler turns it around. 
And now Antonio favoring that knee, making a mistake against the AEW <laughs> World Champion, Tyler Quinn. He said earlier tonight, the match at Lights Out left a bitter taste in his mouth because neither man got the victory in that match. And he wants to try to win the Revolution title tournament to have another shot against Don Wyatt. And now, Tyler Quinn thrown outside. Here comes Antonio. Oh! Tyler Quinn caught him right in the face with that kick. And it knocked down Antonio Bernard. All right, guys. This gives Tyler Quinn a chance to get back to his feet. What? And now the referee beginning his 10 count. Two. And both men are down. Three. And it would be a shame, especially in this tournament match, if it would end via double count out. Four. And I hope not because both men, both men want to win this uh. match. We're at the count of five, folks. Six. Now at the count of six, both men down. Seven. And now we're up to seven, folks. Tyler Quinn and Antonio both at least on their hands and knees here. Eight. And now we're at a count of eight. They ain't got much longer. Count of nine and then a count of ten. They're going to... All right, we're at nine, folks. If the referee counts ten, oh, that was a close call, folks. But this match still continues, and only one man can win this matchup and advance. And now Tyler Quinn definitely surprised by Antonio Bernard here. Alright guys, let's get to our feet. Oh, yeah. oh. And now here we go, the right oh. hands back and forth. Oh. And a left four a left elbow oh. by Tyler Quinn. And then Antonio swings back oh. with one of his own. And now a knee oh. by Tyler Quinn and a and a left hand. Oh. And these guys are just oh. going at it. Oh no! Antonio got him up. What's he gonna do here? Oh! oh. Look like a standing F5. Uh oh. Ah! And there's the crippler crossface. We say close right now. Crossface in. <laughs> and Tyler Quinn, is he gonna ah. tap? Ah. We go home. And now it looks like Antonio's losing his grip on Tyler ah. Quinn. Oh no! One, two, and a one, cover. Another two. cover. And another cover. One, two. And another one. One, two. Ah. And again. One. Oh, one count, but now one. a reversal. Two. Not enough. Just not enough. And. Oh. Unique maneuver by Tyler Quinn. I think he was going for a sunset two. flip, but it didn't pan out the way he thought. But Tyler Quinn's knees caught Antonio Bernard right in the back. And it was just not enough. It was not enough. And now Antonio <coughs> really feeling the effects of that one. Now Tyler Quinn, what's he gonna do here? Like I said, folks, we did not plan to have this season happen, but it happened naturally in the time off leading up to Ceremony of the Greats. Count. And now Antonio trying to blame the referee, which referee, you know, he's our he's our referee. But then again, that count was spot on. So Antonio just has to keep working to knock him down. And oh no! <coughs> and now Antonio that definitely took the wind out of him but Tyler Quinn down too 
Referee will administer the 10 count. All right, here we go. One. Both men Two. feeling the effects here. Three. But Tyler Quinn, we're not sure. Obviously, a little bit of ring rust will come into play. Oh. Being off for the season. Oh. Antonio Bernard, we oh. don't know how prepared he was, but he looks in great shape oh. here. And now, them, oh. them feet are coming into play, and now a chop. And now, oh no, what's he got? Oh! Oh my! Oh my! I don't know what he was going for. I don't know if he got all of it or not. But it did knock Tyler Quinn down. And here's a cover. And oh, Tyler Quinn kicked out at two and a half. Come on, ref. I'm not sure what that move was, but it looked like it took a lot out of Tyler Quinn. And now Antonio is wondering, what the hell have I got to do to beat this man? And now what's he going to do? And Oh, wait a minute. Roll up. Roll up. Crucifix. Or small package. But either way, caught Antonio by surprise, but he got a, he got out after two. And now, knee to the gut. And a face buster by Tyler Quinn. One, two, and oh, kick out. Face buster didn't work. Two. Both men exhausted here. But it is for a shot to move up and face the AEW Revolution Champion, Don Wyatt. Oh. And now going right for the legs of Antonio Bernard. And oh. Tyler Quinn not relinquishing that leg and well, he said dropping it no. again. And now, oh, he's going, is he going for it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh right on the edge of the ring. Oh. Tyler Quinn Shit. draping that leg right on the edge of the ring. What? And now Antonio, ah, Antonio's power game may be taken away if that leg cannot work correctly the rest of the matchup. And that will change the game on how Antonio proceeds in this matchup. And, ah. Yep, now Tyler Quinn focusing on that leg this will take away a lot of Antonio's power ah! and now Tyler has found a weak spot and now a drop kick right into that knee and now oh no and oh he pushes Tyler Quinn off but he's going to have trouble standing Oh, and a clothesline out of desperation. And he flipped, almost flipped Tyler Quinn into the cover. And a kick out. I'm surprised Antonio was able to hit that clothesline on that bad leg, but he... And a second one, and that time it was inside out for Tyler Quinn. One, two... And a kick out. Ref, that was three. Step. And it was a two count. It was definitely a two count. But Antonio has got to also realize uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. he is not in there with just anybody. He is in there making his debut match in season six with the AEW world champion. It's not going to be an easy debut. For Antonio, oh, oh, and now oh, Tyler oh, Quinn oh. zeroing in on that knee again. Drop kicking him. Ah. What do you say, Antonio? No. Antonio's knee is being shattered here. The more this match continues. But now Tyler Quinn, what's he going to do here? Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Wrenching that leg. But he is, Ow. oh, oh, no. Uh, STF. Uh, He's got an STF. Uh, what do you say? And no, now. Do this right now. Uh-oh. 
Ah. Oh! Putting all that pressure ah. on that knee. And Antonio not giving up, but that may be a grave mistake of things to come in the matchup. Tyler Quinn has him right where he wants him. And now, what's Tyler, what's he doing now? What do they, uh-oh. Antonio back to his feet. Oh, oh powerbomb again. Uh-oh, Antonio, what's he done here? Double underhook oh. powerbomb, beautifully executed oh. into a cover. Oh. And oh. no. Oh. Tyler Quinn kicked out after two. And now Antonio trying to get some feeling back in that leg here. But one mistake could cost him the matchup here. And now, oh, he's sizing him up. What's he going to do here? And now, oh, Claymore kick. Beautiful Claymore kick into a cover. One, two, and oh, Tyler's got his foot on the ropes. Tyler with enough ring awareness to know he was close enough to that bottom rope. And now Antonio sizing him up. What's he going to do here? Pushes him back. Another Claymore. Beautifully executed again into another cover and a kick out again. Antonio's got to be wondering what the hell do I got to do to beat this man? I've thrown everything at him but the kitchen sink and he is finding out what every other AEW superstar that has come through the locker room has found out. Tyler Quinn is not an easy man to beat. He's one of the first men to... Down. Oh! Caught him with the knee and now Sister Abigail... I know a certain somebody that does that move. One, two, three, and a kick three. out. Antonio is questioning himself. What has he got to do to beat this man? What has he got to do? And now Tyler Quinn trying to get back to his feet. Referee checking on both men. And now Tyler Quinn barely back to his feet. Antonio back up to his. Oh, that kick caught him. Nice Pele kick. And now curb stop. And he falls into the One, cover. Two, and a kick out. Oh, wait. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Antonio Bernard has just Switching beat lanes like how these AEW World Champion. Push up on the pedal, hurt the pedal, touch the floor. Driving to a win, I keep this tin up on the door. Maneuver through the traffic like that's a beer. Sin action, slick, streaming, that's a track. This can't be standing top of the Engine kicking up like him and Nesson. Antonio Bernard. Cruising in control, the pain is colored as he knows. Shooting through the gap, he would think that I'm pressing the door. Them niggas are pressing the door. And use Tyler's own momentum to roll him up. And caught him off guard into a three count. And a beautiful show of sportsmanship. Every tear I shed was got given me a round of hope. Tyler Quinn was not expecting this. But ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup, what a debut for Antonio Bernard. Thank you for joining us here at AEW. And we will see you on our next show.